No, I'm, I'm okay at the moment, actually. Thanks, Brenda. I'm, I'm alright. I've got half a cup there. I'm okay. Thanks. <sighs> right. Where were we? Two exceptions to what, Ellie? Uh, no, that's that's entirely wrong. All of the... I don't know where you think you're seeing that, Eliana. 16 plus balanced hands are, in the simple system, always opened with one club. The, the 16 to 23, 4, 4, 4, 1 hands are the only exception. If you're playing the complex system, then 30 to 31 and 32 to 33 point balanced hands are not opened with one club. But those don't apply. All of the 16 to 29 high card point balanced hands have ranges after you open one club. The only exception in the singles, the simple system, is 16 to 23 with any 4441 opening. Okay. So I suspect that you're right. 16 to 23, 4441 is the only exception. 26 to 27 balanced is uh, one club, one diamond, three no trumps. Okay. Uh, I'll be dealing with the Cambridge Heart Complex, which is all the uh, very strong balanced hands, uh, a bit later on in the lesson.
Hello, you. Oops.
Okay, that's... I certainly do have voice. Can you hear me, Roger? So, Joe, don't worry too much about that. Sometimes, sometimes you think you're doing the right thing and actually you're doing the wrong thing. Um, and there's, you know, you can't tell how, always, how the cards are. Um, you know, I mean, earlier today I was playing a hand and uh, West had strongly bid hearts twice. Um, and turned out to have queen to five, and their partner had ace x in the suit, and never said a dicky bird. Uh, you can't always tell um, about right siding the contract. Sometimes you can. I agree. You've pretty much, if you start jump shifting over a one diamond negative, you've pretty much got to have game in your own hands because partner may have no support for your suit and no high card points. Um, you've pretty much got to be able to make game in those circumstances before you start jump shifting. Um, that's why uh, even if you bid one diamond over one club, you should try and keep the bidding open for at least one more round, if, if you can, sensibly, um, just in case. Uh, because partner may, you know, in that hand where we ended up playing in two diamonds, East could be considerably stronger than they actually were, and they would still only bid two diamonds over one diamond. The impossible negative is bidding one diamond and then taking some action on the second round of bidding that's incompatible with that one diamond response. So you might bid one club, one diamond, one spade, and now you might bid, say, three clubs. Or two no trumps. Two no trumps would probably show a singleton spade, four, 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 one, eight plus. Three clubs would agree spades and show either a club shortage and four, 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 one shape, or in my system as it used to be, it would show a diamond shortage. But we don't any longer use an impossible negative in OCP. Uh, we ditched that a couple of years ago, and now we have, if you like, impossible positives, as I've just shown there. But we come to that next week.
just for the sake of completeness, as I said, I'm, I'm going to cover this um, fully next week. Um, but this is how those impossible positives tends to work. Yes, Ellie. After a negative, um, there are some, still some gadgets, like splinters, but essentially uh, there's no asking bids unless opener jump shifts over the one diamond. Um, and obviously there are some special sequences like one club, one diamond, one heart, which I'll come to in a minute. But essentially, after the one club, one diamond, the the, uh, the sequences are entirely natural and non-forcing for the most part. Not all non-forcing. One club, one diamond, one heart is forcing. Um, but one club, one diamond, one spade is not forcing. And... Uh, if responder has nothing and nothing to show and can't suggest anything else better than one spade, they just pass. But like I said, you need to bear in mind that one club, one down, one spade, uh, opener can have considerably more than 16 high card points and still only bid one spade. So if possible, responder should keep the bidding open if they can. Like I said, impossible positives like one club, two hearts, one club, two spades, one club, two no trumps, we'll deal with next week. I'm not going to spend any more time on them tonight. Um, that was just to show you broadly how it works. Uh, in practice, because they're positives, once we start using asking bids, um, asking bids ensue. And in the system as we actually play it, two no trumps here would be an asking bid and three no trumps, it would be an asking bid asking about responders controls and uh, West would actually bid three uh, diamonds rather than three no trumps to show only one control and now East bids three no trumps. So as soon as responder makes a positive response of any sort, the sequence is game forcing. So there's no need, generally speaking, to start 
leaping about to show extra strength. Um, nobody can pass below game level, so you can just bid 100% constructively. So, like I said, if it goes one club, one heart, two hearts, um, one heart shows eight plus with five plus hearts, two hearts agrees hearts. Pure and simple, if you're not playing asking bids. And now, potentially, you can start Q bidding at the two level. Because you've agreed hearts, nobody's going to let the bidding lapse below four hearts. So you can use the space to explore for something further. So if uh, Responder in that sequence, one club, one heart, two hearts, just bids four hearts, the implication is that they have an absolute minimum and nothing worth Q bidding. So they've got a minimum positive and probably no controls outside of hearts. So that's a warning almost to Opener that it may well not be worth going further than four hearts unless they are very strong with very good controls. So in our system, we, we show splinters by bidding the suit below. So if it goes one club, one heart, two hearts, four clubs, for the sake of example, we would use that as a splinter showing a diamond shortage. And now four diamonds would be asking about controls. And indeed, you could do that over... Um, Suppose it goes one club, one diamond, negative response, one spade. Now, four clubs would be a splinter. It's supporting spades, showing a maximum, probably a maximum negative response, so probably about six or seven points, a shortage in diamonds, and good, at least four card spade support. So just because you bid one diamond doesn't mean that you can't start leaping about the place. But it's to carry a specific message rather than showing extra strength. Here it, it shows the diamond shortage. One club, one diamond, one spade, four clubs would show a diamond shortage and good support for spades. In other words, it's like bidding four spades, but it's just showing the diamond shortage on the way. Unless opener is very strong, they probably won't go past four spades.
Why, Ellie? Um, it's to uh, give us at least some occasions when, uh, even if we end up playing in um, Responder's Spade Suit, we have a chance for the strong hand to be declarer. And also, whenever um, Responder is a balanced hand with a positive, again, we give Opener the chance to be the first piece person to bid one no trump, which we use as an asking bid. Again, um, just to try and keep the strong hand hidden. Bear in mind that once we start using asking bids it's almost always responder who ends up describing their hand and opener doesn't actually show anything about their hand except perhaps by implication um, so ideally we want responder's hand to be going down as dummy uh, Jason Hackett and I experimented with um, transfer responses to one no to one club and quite a lot of precision pairs use transfer responses Jason and I didn't particularly like it mainly because of the effect on a heart positive um, I'm going to explain this more uh, in a few seconds but uh, if you're playing transfer responses one heart shows spades and you, if you want to show a heart positive, you have to bid two diamonds, which is a horribly expensive response. Um, and uh, we wanted to avoid that, especially since uh, we very often end up hiding five card minors and just showing it as a balanced positive. So two clubs, one club, two clubs, and one club, two diamonds are not very common responses in OCP. Um, so we, we try and avoid those unless it's absolutely necessary again more on that in a minute but you can't afford to hide a five cards heart suit that's the point uh, which means that that very expensive response becomes commonplace and we didn't like it but lots of precision pairs do so if you decide you want to play transfer responses please be my guest there are some advantages to doing that no question. Again, no asking bids today, or not yet anyway. So again, we're just bidding completely constructively here. There's no need for anybody to leap about. Um, we can just show our suits and uh, then decide where to play. Again, no need for South to start jumping here. It's enough just to bid four clubs to agree clubs as trumps. Oops. Sorry about that.
Again, no asking bids yet. Again, it's very likely that South Ace is the Ace of Spades, and so um, North can't really afford to go past the sixth level. South might just have the Ace of Clubs and the King of Diamonds, um, but it's not very likely. So, again, bidding just proceeds entirely uh, naturally and constructively after a positive uh, until we agree trumps. And then you can, you're in much the same situation as you would be if you were playing two over one. The only difference here, really, is the first two bids. You know, if you were playing two over one, um, North would open one heart, South would open bid one spade, North would probably bid two clubs or three clubs, depending on their style. Um, South would support clubs, and then it would be very similar to the sequence that we have here. The difference we have is that we don't have to start leap about to show extra strength. As soon as South bids one no trump over one club, the whole sequence is game forcing. So we don't have to jump shift around the place unless we need to do that to show a specific holding. I don't like it, but then, like I said, once we start using uh, Asking bids, Christina, it wouldn't arise. Four no trumps wouldn't be RKCB. It would be something else. Um, you know, if we were... if we were, Let me just send this hand again, and I'll show you how we'd actually bid this hand. Uh, I don't RKC ever. Um, not if I'm playing the system I want to play. But yes, I wouldn't normally with a void because you can't be sure, North can't be sure here, that South doesn't have, you know, King, Queen to six spades, the Ace of Clubs and the King of Diamonds. Um, he can't be sure. So you potentially miss seven clubs. Um, Indeed, it may be it's best for North to bid four spades over four hearts and let South RKCB. But um, again, uh, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Roman keycard backward anyway. So uh, there you have it. <laughs> Oops. I'm not going to alert all these, but uh, I'm not saying you have to start using cubids like I have there, Sanya. Um, I'm just saying that, that in the absence of asking bids, you just bid naturally over a positive response. I'm not telling you how to do it. 
uh, in practice, once you do start using asking bids, the whole it's a whole game changer, as you'll see in a minute. No, one no trump is showing five plus spades. Okay. Here, because uh, Tuno Trump showed four or more controls, we're on the strong beta scale. So over four diamonds, four hearts shows exactly four controls, because that's the lowest point in the strong beta scale for those who are using asking bids. So since three no Trump shows four small clubs which may or may not have the jack, but South has four controls, they have to have, pretty much, the Ace of Spades, probably the King of Spades, and one of the Red Suit Kings. They might have both Red Suit Kings, but uh, at this stage, can't really tell. So that just gives you a, a, an idea that the landscape changes completely once we start using asking bids. Um, North just takes control of the bidding, asks South questions, South answers, and North decides where to play the hand. And in a sequence like that, the idea of the captain of the hand changing just doesn't arise. South, North is always the captain of the hand. And he just asks South questions, South answers, and shows his hand, and North decides where to play. More on that in a minute. I will, just bear with me a second. Um, yeah, why not? Well, Sanya, the fact is, three no trumps shows exactly four small clubs. You might have four to the jack, but you don't have the ace, king, or queen. That's what the three no trump bid means in that sequence. So they can't have the ace of clubs. Therefore, they must have the ace of spades and two kings. Okay? That's the point. You, you know, crafting... That's okay. Crafting asking bid sequences is all about taking inferences about from what you already know and partners' responses. So here, South can't have the Ace of Clubs. It's impossible once they bid three no trumps. If they had four to the Ace in Clubs, they'd be bidding four clubs, not three no trumps. And that would show um, a three-card club suit with two top honours or 
a four card club suit with one top on her. And now when they show exactly four controls, they must have the ace of clubs and either the ace of spades or two of the other three kings. Oh, they're probably still playing. They will probably find out whether South has um, or what South has in spades, funnily enough. Let me just, uh, since you asked the question, um, let me just change this hand around slightly. Okay, I've changed his hand around slightly. Thank you, Roger. So you can see I've changed the south hand slightly here. High X is not sufficient support for South to show support for hearts. Needs three to an honour or four small. So at this stage, North knows that South's got four to the ace in spades, in clubs rather. Uh, he can't have two top honours because North has two of them. So he must have four to the ace in clubs. Sorry. So, second and third round control of hearts must be King, king X. Can't have, South can't have anything other than King X. So now the only issue is whether South has the King of Spades or the King of Diamonds. Um, at this stage, South could, sorry, North could pretty much bid seven clubs anyway since uh, South is known to have five plus spades and four plus clubs, or four clubs exactly rather, and King X in hearts. So they can't have more than two diamonds. And the Queen of Hearts will take care of um, 
South's Diamond Loser. But just to show you, Now, it might seem a little bit odd to ask in your void, but it's cheaper. It, North can't ask in diamonds. He'd have to bid six diamonds to do that. But he can ask about spade controls at the five level. I'm not saying he would. In practice, he'd just bid seven clubs here. But... Uh, So does that answer your question, Sanya? Okay. <laughs> right, let's push on because we've got quite a lot to go yet. Um, at this rate, we're not going to get any example hands in. Well, OCP gives you that. Most of the time, like I said, here, um, North can write down South's hand in everything that matters before he bids seven clubs. He knows he's got five to the queen in spades. He knows he's got king x in hearts. He knows he's got uh, king x in diamonds, actually, for various reasons. He can't have six spades and the stiff king of diamonds because he wouldn't show the king of diamonds as a control if he had a stiff king. And he knows he's got four to the ace in clubs. So he can write South's hand down before he bids seven clubs. Yes, but Stiff King isn't. Stiff King is only a control if partner's shown some strength in that suit. Then you can, if partner's, you know, attempted to bid, say, diamonds as trumps here, now South can uh, show a Stiff King in diamonds as a control. How do you mean, Mehmet? It doesn't matter what south spade holding is here, whether it's queen to five or queen jack to five or queen jack ten to five. Um, doesn't matter because we're never going to try and make anything with the spades from North's point of view. All oh, right, okay. Anyway, need to press on, guys, otherwise we're just going to run out of time here. So semi-balanced hands with a five-card minor almost always use the one spade response because it's a lot cheaper than two clubs or two diamonds. So we hide the five-card minor. That's why um, Jason and I eventually opted for that rather than using transfer positives. We opted for the just swapping one spade and one no trump because... Uh, one club, two clubs, and one club, two diamonds are actually quite rare. Well, not rare, but it's not, not as common as you might think. So the times when we do bid 
a minor suit positive tend to be when we're um, unbalanced with a six card suit or a five card suit and another four card suit. In other words, we've got a shortage somewhere and we don't want to bid one no trump or one spade as it is. The other time we might show the suit is when we've got probably 14 plus high card points and we're definitely thinking in terms of the slam immediately over one club. Now we tend to show the suit in order to be more constructive because we know that we've got the strength to keep on pushing to show um, the extra strength if uh, opener tries to sign off in three no trumps for example. So we wanted to keep our major suit and balance positives cheap and the only way really to achieve that was simply to swap one spade and one no trump. The other thing to bear in mind is that as soon as there is any interference that swapping of one spade and one no trump goes. In other words, it's if it goes one club, one heart over call now one spade shows spades and one no trump shows eight plus balanced. So up until the time when you start using asking bids, which is going to be I think the week after next, um, you can have a, a so just excuse me a minute just spotted a, a mistake here Sorry, Roger. Um, yes, I, it's up to you. A double doesn't actually uh, stop us from bidding everything that we would normally bid. So a double is the one time when we tend to keep that one spade, one no trump uh, swap. But if they actually bid something other than double, uh, even one diamond... Um, the swap goes. Okay, Roger. So, if uh, if open the sixteen plus balanced before you start asking, asking, using asking bids and it starts off one club, one spade showing a positive that's balanced normally what will happen is that opener will bid one no trump um, to grab the no trump declarership and now uh, Continuations are pretty much as over a, um, a, a natural, but as over a one no trump to some extent. Two clubs will be stamen, trying to find a, a four club, ma a four card major. The only other thing you might do is uh, two spades and two no trumps to transfer to a minor. So one club, 
one spade, one no trump, natural, two spades, or one no trump, two no trumps, to show the five card minor. But normally, um, stamen is the only thing that would normally come in, unless South has a significantly stronger positive than eight high card points. Uh, they may well just, uh, if they don't want to explore for a four card fit, Sorry, an eight card major suit fit. They'll probably just bid three no trumps. Just hang on, I'll try and find a. Um, Here's another example hand. Uh, no need, really, Mehmet. Um, why not? He wants to show spades, Sanya. He hasn't got four-card hearts. He has got four-card spades. The whole sequence is game-forcing, so we don't need to jump about the place here. He can bid two, two spades. Two spades is forcing. West has either got four spades if, or they haven't. Over two spades, if, if uh, West hasn't got four card spades, they're going to bid two no trumps. Or something else. Okay? The, uh, the two way two diamond doesn't apply here. Ah, they can, but on the other hand, um, East is quite strong. They're signif quite significantly stronger than a, a simple minimum positive. They've got quite a nice 11 count here. Um, one no trump doesn't show a particular range. It just says, um, OK, we're probably going to end up playing in uh, maybe three no trumps. I've, I'm also balanced. That's essentially what one no trump says if you're not playing asking bits. If you are playing asking bids, it doesn't say anything about West Hand at all, because it itself is an asking bid beater. But before you start playing asking bids, one no trump is just grabbing the no trump declarership. It doesn't show a particular range of points. Yeah, West might have a 26 count balanced, still bid one no trump. They don't have to show their strength here because their hand isn't going to be the one probably that's down on table. So yes, East East could potentially bid three no trumps over um, yeah, except that now when No, Sanya, I disagree. Sorry. The trouble is, if East bids three no trumps, it's almost implying, listen, I've got a, you know, I've got an eight point, an eight high card point hand here. Um, I've got four card spades, yes. But East is better than that. If West's got a, you know, a 21 count, they'll probably still pass three no trumps or bid four spades. They're not going to go looking for slam, yeah? So if East has a, a bare... It's, that's the reason why West bids four spades here. 
because they have a relatively minimum one club opener. If, if West had a, a 22 count, yes, two clubs were stamen. So if, if West had a 22 count here, they'd be bidding three spades, not four spades. And that would be inviting Q-bids and envisaging something more than merely four spades. So the trouble is with, with three no trumps, although it gets across the information that East has four card spades, otherwise they wouldn't bother with stamen, it tends to imply that you've got a, you know, an eight or a nine count, but no more than that. So I'm going to finish this cigar if it kills me. It might what? I should hope so too. Listen you guys, I'm going to stop teaching you if you don't just start cutting me some slack, okay? Thank you very much. Enough said. It's my life. If I wish to smoke, I will smoke. I don't need you lot leaning over my shoulder all the time. I'm fed up with it. If you haven't got that impression, get it now, because I really am fed up with it. So yeah, if, uh, if opener isn't balanced, the chances are they're going to start showing their suits over one club, one spade. But there's no need to start jump shifting. Uh, again, it can just be entirely natural. Once we start using asking bids again, the whole landscape changes. So if you're not playing asking bids and it starts one club, one heart, one no trump from Opno is just showing a balanced hand, maybe 16 to 18, but might be slightly more. But it's just showing, I don't have primary support for hearts. What else can you show me? And again, the bidding just proceeds naturally. So once we start using asking bids, one no trump isn't available as a means of uh, effectively handing over the captaincy of the hand. Uh, we tend to use two no trumps for that, but it's not always available. Um, more to that once we start looking at asking bids.
know that one club two hearts is only 8 to 10, or 8 to 11 rather. 12 plus, we go a different route. Same applies. <laughs> Hang on a second. John Luke says hi, Naomi. John Luke, the guy who wrote those. Hi, John! <laughs> Another cameo from Naomi. He loved his box! I certainly do. Yes, volume three on the complex systems, out now. A snippet, about £18 in Amazon. Not sure what that is in dollars. It's a good read. But as John says several times in Volume 3, not really worth looking at the complex system until you've really got the simple system well under your belt. 90% of the benefit of the benefits of using OCP are in the, syst the simple system. The, uh, the complex system is great... <laughs> <laughs> the complex system is great fun to play, but it doesn't give you a massive increase in performance, if you know what I mean. It, uh, um, it's a few bells and whistles on top. Uh, no, Volume 3 is considerably shorter than Volume 1 or Volume 2. Um, they managed to condense it, which I think accounts for it being... Uh, significantly cheaper than Volume 1 and Volume 2. Isn't that right, John? Anyway, moving on. So again, over One Club, Two Hearts, One Club, Two Spades... If you're not using asking bids, again, uh, essentially we're just bidding naturally here. Responders shown their exact or fairly exact range and their exact distribution. So uh, opener can just set the suit after which we start queue bidding. Um, or they can bid to no trumps or they can bid uh, the singleton suit as Roman Keycard Blackwood. Once you are using asking bids, then it's a whole different ball game. But again, we'll deal with that. We revisit these positives uh, once I've shown you the asking bids. So, one club, two no trumps is slightly different in that it's either a singleton diamond or a singleton club. So again, declarer can, can set the suit in a major, in which case we carry on exactly over, as over one club, two hearts and one club, two spades. But if it's a minor, if it goes one club, two no trumps, three clubs showing a club suit, and that is... Um, responders singleton they'll just bid three no trumps and that shows a singleton in that suit if they bid anything else then it's agreeing that suit as trumps and probably a cubit uh, once again once you do start using asking bids uh, again it changes and it changes in a special way over one club two no trumps if opener makes an eater ask in the minor because there's an extra step to show that it's a singleton suit for responder it's coming Roger you just have to be patient I'm not dealing fully you'll notice I'm not really dealing with the continuations give me a chance mate
So one club and then a three level suit is 12 plus with 4441 shape and in each case responders bidding the suit below their singleton. So one club three spades shows 4441 exactly with a singleton club but 12 plus points. So one club two hearts, one club two spades and one club two no trumps are all 8 to 11 high card points and the three level responses are all 12 plus. So I've mentioned the 4441 positives here but we need to spend quite a lot more time on those next week uh, because you need to understand how to show those hands when ops interfere either immediately over the one club opening or over uh, responders initial response so more of that next week Hopefully not, because we're running out of time. Sorry, that should read the way this works. So after one club, one diamond, one heart is a two-way bid. So it's either showing five card or longer hearts, or some kind of strong, very strong balanced range in 19 plus. So one club, one diamond, one no trump shows 16 to 18 balanced. And one club, one diamond, one heart is either five card hearts or 19 plus balanced. And we can cater for, in the simple system for any range up to and including 29 points balanced. If you pick up a 33 point balanced hands, um, you just have to wish that you'd start playing the complex system. So one club, one diamond, one heart forces an automatic relay of one spade from responder. There are some exceptions which are dealt with on the website. I'm not going to go into that now. Uh, they're mostly if you've got five to seven and five card hearts and a singleton somewhere or naught to four points and a long weak suit yourself. So over one club, one diamond, one heart, one spade, if opener rebids in no trumps then it's showing a strong 19 plus balanced range any other bid confirms the heart suit and is entirely natural so one club one diamond one heart one spade two clubs ostensibly shows a club heart two suitor One club, one diamond, one heart, one spade, one no trump shows 19 to 21 balanced. I knew you'd get that in, Roger. <laughs> yeah, the one no trump rebids are three point ranges and upwards from there they're two point ranges. And that's a significant advantage here. Um, all the people who use two no trumps to show 20 to 22 point hands and there are some who play precision who, who do that. Uh, they're all playing in two no trumps whereas or at the three level in a suit if responder has nothing 
whereas we can end up playing in one no trump with similar strength hands. Nope, absolutely not. One club, one diamond, two no trumps is 22, 23 balanced. If uh, Responder has a flat Yarbrough, that's where you're going to play. And good luck to you. But like I said, you're generally one bidding level lower than anybody else is going to be. One club, one diamond, one heart, one spade, two no trumps to show a 24 to 25 point balanced hand. Um, a lot of people who are playing two over one or, or uh, standard American or ACL are going to be opening two clubs and rebidding two or three no trumps. Um, and no other system I've ever seen has a... a a dedicated scheme for showing strong balanced ranges like this one. And you don't really lose anything. Um, bear with me. Yeah, somebody's playing two over one, they pick up a 28, 29 point hand, they don't have a means of showing it. They've just got to bid two clubs, two diamonds, three no trumps, and hope that they end up in the right place. And Responder is flying blind. The other advantage, of course, is that when Responder has a positive response. We don't need any of this. Opener just takes control of the bidding at a low level with, say, one no trump without showing their, their hand type and their range. Again, just saving bidding space. So over, over either version of the one no trump rebid, whether we go via one diamond, one heart, one spade, or direct into one no trump, our continuations are exactly, and I mean exactly, as if uh, opener had opened one no trump. In other words, we have... Four suit transfers, stamen, Texas transfers at the four level, intro if ops double for penalties, not very likely, um, but it has happened. Transfer 11 sold if they interfere, no trump raises at the next level via stamen, two way two diamonds, puppet stamen over two no trumps and so on. So it's exactly, exactly the same as over our one no trump opening. The only significant difference is that over um, the one no trump rebids, uh, three level suit responses by responder are not alpha anymore. In practice, I'm, I've never used it. I've never used a three level uh, bid over a one no trump rebid after a one club opening. So one club, one diamond, one spade, three diamonds, you know, has a specific message and it is part of the system, but I've never used it, so I'm not going to bother spending time explaining it tonight. Uh, you can see it on the one club page, but uh, in practice I just never do it. There's no point. So, over the two no trump, hang on a second, Ellie. Over the two no trump rebids, we use puppet stamen. 
So if you're going to end up as opener rebidding two no trumps, so you've got 22 plus balanced. Now you can do that with a five card major because we have puppet stamen in the mix. We don't use puppet stamen over one no trump rebids, however. So if you've got a 20 point hand with five card hearts, you need to decide whether you're going to hide the hearts and show it as balanced or show the hearts, in which case you can't show your slight extra strength. But bear in mind that one club, one diamond, one heart is forcing. Responder will bid one spade and now you can confirm the heart suit. Just bog standard puppet stamen. So three clubs is asking if partner has a four or a five card major. Three hearts or three spades shows a five card major. Three diamonds shows no five card major, but a four card major. Now if responder has a four card major, a single four card major, they bid the major they don't have four card hearts in. If they've got two four card majors over three diamonds then they bid four diamonds that's puppet in a nutshell okay Sonia it does but three diamonds also promises at least one four card major three no trumps denies two no trumps three clubs three no trumps denies a four card major or a five card major I see no reason because it's more constructive over Lull's version you're still en going to end up probably giving Ops the information I'll take your point Sonia I, I just don't give it much thought you, you're still going to end up giving Ops most of the same information over three diamonds because now responder will bid a four card major naturally if they've got one and opener will either agree the suit or bid three no trumps to deny it or bid a major of their own so you're still giving them the information I, I don't lose sleep about it basically I'm certainly not about to change the system. I can't see any benefit in Lyle's version. If he can, good luck to him. He's a better bridge player than me. So, just going back to, to one heart where you have got hearts, over the one spade, over one spade relay, you just rebid naturally. And the only thing here is that with 5-3-3-2 uh, shape, you would tend to rebid in a similar way over one spade, the one spade relay, as you would over a forcing no trump if you were 11 to 15. In other words, cheapest three card minor to confirm the heart suit rather than anything else. And the other time you might do something slightly different is if you have four spades and five card hearts and a relatively minimum one club opener. So it's going to go one club, one diamond, one heart, one spade forced. If you bid two spades now it's tending to show it's tending to show an upper range hand, in other words 19 plus at least given that you're forcing responder potentially to the three level when they don't have to have any points at all um, but so there if you've got 16 to 18 perhaps even a little bit more than that you might even rebid a two card minor just to show uh, to show the heart suit rather than reversing into two spades 
I've read with a two card minor before now with four five two two. Obviously with four five one three or four five three one it's much easier to, to bid your three card minor. Um, you just have to assess each hand. I might go on a little bit past 11 o'clock tonight guys because I would like to get a few practice hands in but I do have a few say again maybe they don't no maybe they don't if they don't they'll just go ok This is all assuming that you're not using asking bids, by the way. Um, again, the whole, the whole landscape changes once you do. So again, we, we just swap around one spade and one no trump uh, in the absence of any suit interference. So yeah, some people would use one club, one spade, two spades as agreeing spades and Roman key card Blackwood. Um, again, if you don't want to use the asking bids, you can do that and, and that's a very efficient way of exploring for, for slam potentially at a, at a very, very low level. Excuse me a second. Oh, that's a bit odd. Just bear with me a minute.
I appear to have lost some of my hands. I had a couple of hands that uh, Jason and Hackett and I actually bid in the 1980s, um, but they've disappeared from my um, Lin file collection. I'll have to find them another time. Anyway, here's a hand that will show just briefly a little bit about how the asking bids work. So in asking bids, we use stepped responses. So here, two spades would show one thing. Two no trump shows something else. Um, three clubs shows primary support for hearts. In other words, at least three to a top honour or four small or better. And in the case of three clubs, naught to three controls, where an ace is two and a king is one. Three diamonds would show support, but four or more controls and so on. So they're step responses, and you have to actually learn the scales. How do you mean, uh, Shirley? <laughs> so again, over three, three clubs agrees hearts here. So a relay over that agreement is asking about controls. And this is our, this is our equivalent of Roman keycard Blackwood. So in, in precision speak, an ace is worth two controls and a king is worth one control. Um, so the three club bid shows naught to three controls. So now we use a weak scale for beta, which is naught, one, two, three, four in step responses. So four club shows exactly three controls. Now, funnily enough, one of the most efficient ways that uh, North has an enormously powerful hand here. Um, one of, the, one of the most efficient ways of eliminating, we know that South has three controls. Um, we want to find out where, where South has those controls. He doesn't have to have the Ace of Hearts, he might have four small. But if he hasn't got the Ace of Hearts, then he's probably got the Ace of Spades, which is going to take care of the Diamond loser, if there is one. But here, South could ask in his void because three clubs showed naught to three controls, Roger. So there's no point there's no point using the normal scale where there would now be only two steps of 0 to 2, 3 
no point using that when south is known to be naught to three controls so as soon as they show naught to three controls in response to alpha we're using the weak scale if they showed four or more controls we would automatically be using the strong scale which is naught to four five six seven alpha always either no nope. Yeah, ex exactly, Douglas. It, uh, you'll see, I, I mean, here, Forno Trumps is saying, I don't have any control of spades. In other words, he hasn't got the ace, king, or queen in spades, which is perfect from North's point of view, because it means there's no wasted values in spades. Now, he actually has to have the ace of hearts and one of the minor suit kings. Again here, because North has the queen of clubs, second and third round control of clubs has to be king x exactly. So in essence, South has exactly the hand that North wants. He's got five or six spades headed by the jack at most. He's got at least ace to three hearts. King X in clubs and some number of small diamonds. Can't have the King of Diamonds. But it doesn't matter because we're going to run everything. Okay. So, I mean, hopefully that just gives you um, a little bit of a taste. We've tried to show you some asking bids throughout the series so far without spending too much time on them. Uh, Yes, Sanya, I mean, ultimately, um, you have to learn how to craft, you have to, you have to learn how to craft the asking bid responses, and I can't really teach you that. It's something you have to learn by experience, of how to take all of the inferences. Well, I, I try, uh, but, uh, Ultimately, um, uh, it's something you do actually just have to learn yourself. It's, it comes with experience. Not true, Barry. Epsilon first step could be either um, Ace, King of Spades or... Um, yes, sorry, four no trumps could be the ace king of spades or no control of spades. Um, and if I'm not finished yet, if you want to play, I can play on a bit. If anybody wants to practice a few hands, uh, you're most welcome to stay. But just one last bit from me, just hang on.
So if it goes one club double, one diamond now becomes a positive response in diamonds. Because pass and redouble take care of all of the 0 to 7 hands. So over one club and then a two spade interference, now pass is 0 to 7 and a double is, is a positive double. It's either, it's, it shows here 8 to 10 with no good bid. Um, there isn't a defined range, but it's 8 plus with no good bid. But the difference is, once you're playing asking bids, that after you've used that double, we are straight into an asking bid by opener. Where you draw the line, some, some people draw that line at two hearts, not two spades. Um, where you draw the line is entirely up to you. Okay, so the, there'll be quite a lot more on interference as, and especially after we've covered all the asking bids because it gets much more complicated dealing with interference once asking bids are in the equation. Um, before you start asking, using asking bids, it's actually easier because you're essentially in not much different territory than if you were playing a purely natural system. Okay, can I have four volunteers, please? If anybody wants to practice some hands. Douglas, would you do me a favour? Douglas, could you take your uh, away marker off? It makes it a bit more difficult to, for anybody to message you. You're shown as away at the moment. Thank you very much. A fourth, a fourth please. Somebody for West. Anyone? No, we're not, we're not playing asking bids tonight. Okay, so forget asking bids, just bid naturally. Thank you for sitting guys, have fun. Oops, hang on, sorry, we've... Uh, hang on a second, something weird is... Something is weird is going on here. As far as I know, John's doing a, um, a practice session tomorrow. What time are you doing it at the moment, John? New York time. Right, so 9pm GMT, 
4 p.m. EST. Right. Um, yes, please. Roger's practice on a Thursday is, I think, an hour earlier, isn't it, Roger? 8 p.m. UK time. So, 3 p.m. Oh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. GMT. All right, okay. So, all the practices are at 4 p.m. New York time. 9 p.m. UK time, or GMT. Fine, thank you very much. Yes, do go along to those practices, people. Um, they're almost always targeted to what I've covered the week before. Um, so it's a really good way of cementing what I've covered in your heads. Yes, if you're itching to actually play some hands, Roger's practice is the place to go. I'm sorry for anybody who, who would rather play the hands out, but uh, it does take a lot longer. So we don't get through nearly as many hands. Okay, claim 11 tricks please. Just claim 11, Sanya. Okay, anybody dislike this sequence? He said in a pointed fashion. Anybody got any comments on this sequence? I'll bet they did. Okay. Um, I would want better controls and more shape before I upgraded West hands, West's hand here to a positive response. Yes. Um, I, would, I would probably want a second four or five card suit, indeed, and better controls. Let's face it, half of your points, nearly, are in a three-card spade suit here. Just because you bid one diamond doesn't mean that you can't show the hearts. It's just that you're not forcing the sequence to gain immediately. East doesn't have to have a, part, a heart in his hand, so your six-card heart suit may be valueless to him. So, go slowly. It's not... Exactly. Absolutely right, Joe. Um, you can always bid more strongly afterwards, but you can't undo 
the game forcing nature of a positive response. If you find out that you've got a complete misfit, you're in trouble. If you've Well, okay, I haven't finished my comments yet, so yes, we can. The other thing applies to East. Over one club, one heart, I wouldn't bid one spade for all the tea in China. I would bid two hearts. Why, why go fishing for a 4-4 spade fit when you know you've got an 8-card heart fit? You see, stri strictly speaking, three hearts here is a cubid in support of spades. That's what I've just told you. It's a cubid with spades agreed as trumps. It's not a trial bid. It's not saying, oh, by the way, I've also got some heart support. It's showing I've got first round control of hearts, which might be a void, or second round control of hearts, which might be a singleton. Because two spades agree spades. We're not about to start agreeing hearts suddenly. No, no, no. That's by opener, Shirley. After one club, one diamond. So, okay. So, the way, the way this should go is one club, one heart, or... If, if, you, if West is going to bid a positive, it would go one club, one heart, two hearts, four hearts. Because four hearts says, I'm not interested in Q bidding or anything. I've got a bare minimum positive. But better, one club, one diamond. Um, now, East bids one heart to show 19 plus balanced or hearts. West bids one spade. No, but... What? You have. But that's not what the sequence shows. Eliana, that's all I'm saying. One spade here shows probably five card spades, not four card spades with heart support. That's not what one spade shows. It's saying, I don't particularly like hearts. Two spades agree spades. Nope. It doesn't have to. I mean, I mean, East might be semi, semi balanced, and I've said five spades. Actually, they could bid it with four spades just in case West is 4-5. But the fact is, West should bid one diamond, East should bid one heart, two-way, West bids one spade, because they haven't got a singleton somewhere, they've got the right number of hearts, the right strength, to bid one of the exception bids over one heart, but they haven't got a singleton, so they bid one spade. East bids... One. Oh God. Yeah, but West isn't balanced, Joe. West has got a six-card heart suit. They're not remotely balanced. Uh, okay. So eventually, East ends up bidding one no trump to show 19 to 21 balanced. Now West bids four diamonds, which is a transfer to hearts. East bids four hearts, and everybody passes. That's how it should go. So if you want, you can bid it again the way it should be.
Sorry, Joe, I don't understand what you were trying to get at there with this one spade balanced. That's positive responses. We're not in positive responses here. Yes, you're right. Yeah, Eliana, you're 19, you got 19 high card points here. One no Trump, rebid. Oh no, hang on. Yes, one no Trump, rebid shows 16 to 18. You got a 19 count. So one heart from East here, Eliana. Thank you. So West doesn't start leaping about the place here just because they've got six card hearts. If, you know, they can start doing something weird and wonderful if... East confirms the heart suit, but now it's 19 to 21 balanced, opposite a seven count. So two diamonds, two hearts, four hearts at this stage would be a mild slam try, which would suggest a lot more shape than West has. But four diamonds just says plain hearts. Six card hearts, no arguments. And West will automatically pass. That's it, well done. Okay, Joe, lead away. And the other thing is that you haven't got too high here. If you're playing strong tens, it certainly does. Okay, any questions, anybody? Uh, oops, sorry, we've had that one. Just bear with me a second. Yeah, Joe, except that's a transfer to spades. Like I said, you've got exactly the same system of bids over that one no trump rebid from East as you have as if they'd open one no trump. So one no trump, four diamonds, and one no trump, four hearts are both transfers with no interest in more than a game. Do you want to hear? Name me? Oh. Sorry to slip this one in, Joe. If you're worried, two no trumps here. I know I said I was going to cover it properly next week, but so this shows four 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 one eight to ten with a minor suit singleton. So from Douglas's point of view, South has Singleton 
a singleton in one of the minors and both four card majors. Well, you're playing naturally here, so basically, no, it's 8 to 11. Um, North is just going to set a trump suit. Just choose a major and set that as trumps with three of the major. Exactly. So just, just pick a major at the three level. Doesn't matter which you do, really. Okay, so now South can potentially cube it if they want. So you could cubid your shortage here, Joe. Again, cubiding is the one time, or one of the two times in the system. No, Joe, that denies, that's, no. That's somehow denying spade support, but you've promised four card spades and four card hearts here if you're 4441 with a minor suit singleton. You must be 4-4 in the majors, by definition. So you can't not agree spades, but you could bid four clubs to say, this is where my singleton is. Well, no, when we come to Q bids, it's not the suit below. If you were showing a splinter bid, it would be suit below. But you don't need to do that. You don't need to start leaping around to... But it's below game level. We're forced to game anyway. I, I, I would just... By inference, you, it's almost certain that South here will Q-bid their singleton. Um, Douglas, just a thought. You could re you could redouble here to show the ace of clubs. It's cheaper. Okay, so no, you're you're in the middle of a Q bidding sequence, Joe. Redouble promises the ace of clubs. So now you get a, your whole level of bidding lower. You can show your king of diamonds. Yeah, but you don't know that, Douglas. You don't know what she's got in the majors, apart from length. So now she's got a diamond control. Yeehaw. So she's probably got the King of Diamonds, Singleton Club. Yep. You've no asking bids here. So four no trumps is Roman key card. Yes, I must confess, I would have bid three hearts over two no trumps. And you're right, it does ease things considerably. Spades. Three spades sets the trump suit, Joe. Because he knows you've got four card spades. So three spades is saying, this is where we're going to play. Start cue bidding. Because your hand is an absolute known quantity, Joe. We know you've got eight to eleven points. Four, 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 one with a singleton in a minor. And your four club bid confirms that it's in clubs. I think even if you had a diamond singleton in the king of clubs, you would bid four diamonds over three spades. Yes? In which case, South doesn't know whether to just bid four spades or cubid. Well, they can't cubid anything else.
North is still captain. Yep. Joe, you're just answering questions. Well, if you were playing asking bids, you could. And to some extent, that's why I would have bid three hearts over two no trumps rather than three spades. Um, if it goes three hearts, four clubs, double, redouble, four diamonds... <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Douglas, I wouldn't bid that for all the tea in China. I don't think you can afford not to play this hand in spades, given that you know... South has a singleton club. Half the, v half the value in the hand is being able to rough two clubs in the south hand. Okay, well done guys. Um, leads the queen of clubs. Thank you, Ellie. Very good. Okay, so here, over two no trumps, three spades sets the suit. We have some cubids, Roma key card, and then six spades. Well, you didn't agree to play one or the other, to be fair. <laughs> Don't apologise, Joe. It's in your profile, but uh, I knew what I knew what you meant. So yeah, I would have been three hearts, um, not consciously thinking about it, but a it's cheaper. And B, you can start the Q bidding at a whole lower level, um, potentially. Because now, actually, once hearts are set as trumps, South could bid three spades to show the ace of spades. Because she's known to have four. Um, Okay, can somebody else sit west, please? Yes, that's right, Douglas. Um, yeah, Douglas, just claim... I think he already did, actually. Joe. Somebody going to sit west, please? No, she's playing a game on a computer. Um, okay, listen, guys, I'm sorry. I think I'm going to have to stop there. There's something strange happening with my system. I can't select the hands that uh, I want to select. It's insisting on showing me something else. Um, but we've had a half an hour over um, to practice a couple of hands. Um, okay, night, everybody. Um, like I said, please don't forget the practices tomorrow and Thursday they really will help you um, and uh, next week we'll have a look at positive positive impossible positive um, responses and especially at interference over those uh, so thanks all for coming and we'll uh, see you next week night all